What's up? We're back with a new pedal. I got the MXR Carbon Copy Delay. This is a really awesome delay pedal that sounds quite a bit different from its digital counterparts. I'm gonna show you everything I know about it. We're gonna start with the controls on this thing. You got the regen, you got the mix, and you got the delay. The regen, that determines how many times you repeat the signal. Or in other words, it's the number of repeats. <laughs> When you're using the regen knob on this, when you start at the very bottom of like that, what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it so it just regenerates once. But if you put it up closer to about right there, that's gonna make it so that it does it maybe one and a half. And essentially that's how it works. Like the more you go over clockwise, the more it's gonna get infinite. It's gonna repeat infinitely. Regarding the delay, it actually, it starts at the fastest. So on this corner here, that's the fastest that it can go. And then when you go to about right here, that's the slowest it can go. Unfortunately, the one thing I don't like about this pedal is I feel like it doesn't go slow enough. Um, I wish it could just go a bit slower with this delay here that would be nicer but uh, other than that it's a beautiful pedal the mix that's the, your level of wet dry so if you put it all the way to the right that's going to have a fully saturated signal and then the delay parameter that's the actual timing of your delay Now the thing about this pedal is it has to be used with trial and error in the sense that you can't set your values numerically. Everything is done, I guess you could say manually in the sense that you don't go to a specific parameter. You, you just have to figure it out for yourself. Additionally, you have your mod button and you, you can control this. This is modulation on your delay and you can control this parameter either by clicking on it that engages it or you can take off the battery cover, which I'm gonna do in a second and you can adjust the modulation delay back here. <laughs> modulation if you flick that on you can get really like a lo-fi vibe so i got to back off of this thing this is how you adjust your width and your speed of your modulation so again that's controlled by this button here so you can just turn these with probably your finger would work just fine but i used a screwdriver to turn these and then of course you have your battery compartment as well and then of course you got your your foot switch. Um, it's a standard foot switch. It's not really terribly difficult to engage. In terms of where you put your power adapter in, you put it in here. So you get nine volt direct current and its current draw is 26. So any nine volt port is gonna work fine. Any nine volt adapter, as long as it's above 25, which all of them are. I always say that, but it's worth stating. So what about where it goes in your signal chain? I'm gonna show you that right now. So here's my current board. My amplifier is over there, connected with the orange amplifier cable or the orange guitar cable. It goes into the noise gate first. Then it goes noise gate, reverb, course, EQ, drive another drive compressor tuner envelope filter and then these are the pedals that are in the effects loop so the first pedal in the effects loop is my digital delay and then i got my carbon copy analog delay and then i got the looper and then i put the volume control last i got it two delays because i'm actually going to compare con contrast the digital delay and carbon copy analog delay and the reason why i'm going to compare these two pedals is because they sound quite a bit different before i owned this pedal i never actually had a, an analog delay sound so when you hear these two sounds together side by side you're going to notice how much of a difference this thing has. So while this carbon copy analog delay, while it may not have as specific as, as controls as this and the ability to do all the things this can, this has a sound that's in, 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 I don't know how to say that word, inimitable, in, inimitable, in, inimitable. <laughs> this pedal has a sound of its own. It's not, you can't get it with this.
And get some compression on that sound. Maybe even a bit of drive, but we're gonna pull it back quite a bit. This is an awesome pedal. Um, I use it all the time. That said, do I think that it completely, it's gonna, do I think that it's gonna totally perform all your delay functions? I would say no. But if you want a particular like analog style delay, this is a good one to get. Mm -hmm. 